His films have increasingly emphasized the use of special effects in order to bring his stories to life. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be exploring the career of writer and director Robert Zemeckis. Born to a working class family in 1952, the Chicago native developed an early fascination with the television screen. As a result, he spent his childhood toying away with his parents' 8mm movie camera, a hobby that would later inspire him to abandon his blue collar upbringing despite the wishes of his parents. Zemeckis went on to study at Southern California's School of Cinematic Arts, where one of his student films caught the eye of Steven Spielberg, who decided to take him under his wing. He then helped Zemeckis land a deal writing the screenplay for 1941, a movie which Spielberg himself directed in 1979. I will not have guns in this house. Uh, excuse us, ma'am. Uh... <laughs> Zemeckis made his directorial debut in 1978 with the film I Want to Hold Your Hand, which he followed with 1980's Used Cars. Why are we giving these cars away? Both features were co-written with his partner Bob Gale, and despite a warm critical reception, they suffered humiliating box office defeats. After a long period of difficulty finding work, Zemeckis was hired by Michael Douglas to direct the romantic adventure Romancing the Stone. A lackluster first impression of the film by studio executives caused them to predict it would flop. Now, I ain't cheap, but I can't be had. Miraculously, Romancing the Stone turned into a sleeper hit. Its success inspired the studio to finance his Back to the Future screenplay. Originally, Zemeckis had trouble finding a studio to pick up the offbeat script. The film went on to have a large cultural impact and was instantly successful at the box office. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Universal Studios immediately urged Zemeckis to begin pre-production on two sequels, which he would direct and co-write, after he finished tackling the visually complex 1988 film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Following an urge to continue producing wacky yet visually stunning films, Zemeckis directed the dark comedy Death Becomes Her, which starred Bruce Willis, Meryl Streep, and Goldie Hawn. The film was a visually complex project and is first to include more dramatic elements. You're sitting there? You're talking to me? But you're dead! However, he would only dabble in serious horror with 2000's What Lies Beneath. I almost froze to death, laying here, wet, naked, pretending to be electrocuted. Zemeckis had his most high-profile success in 1994 when he unleashed the worldwide phenomenon Forrest Gump, an offbeat tale of a dim man who unwittingly played a role in many of the mid-20th century's key historic moments. I'd been a football star and a war hero and national celebrity and a shrimp and boat captain. And a college graduate, this city falls of Greenbow, Alabama, decided to get together and offered me a fine job. The film pushed visual effects in ways that had not been attempted before. It made extensive use of CGI and archive footage to allow Gump to meet deceased presidents and even shake their hands. Forrest Gump won six Academy Awards and earned Zemeckis the title of Best Director, while earning an unprecedented $677 million worldwide. Zemeckis would later reuse Tom Hanks to give heart to his reflective film, Castaway. <laughs> Zemeckis' love for bringing effects to the screen led him to coordinate with eight separate visual effects studios while producing 1997 sci-fi film Contact. This shift from relying heavily on industrial light and magic showed Zemeckis' unhappiness with limitations he faced with 2D special effects. This led Zemeckis to produce 3D films as of 2004 with The Polar Express, followed by 2007's Beowulf and 2009's A Christmas Carol starring Jim Carrey. Couldn't I take them all at once and have it over with? Zemeckis is currently attached to producing a 3D remake of the animated Beatles classic Yellow Submarine for a 2012 release. 